we are not communicating well. And it's not the language thing anymore. I'm just hoping the therapy can help all of that so we can listen better. How about we open up with you guys telling me where you find yourselves? Well, we've just, uh, we've been in a long relationship on and off for six years now. I don't even know where our relationship's at right now, really. Do you want to talk a little bit about what it's been like for you, Evelyn, and what's coming up? I, I feel like with Corey, I always been telling him what to do because he doesn't seem to be capable of coming with his own ideas. And I don't like that. Like I need someone stronger and I'm tired of being the strong one always. And when we had a break, it was like a weight was lifted out of my shoulders. I don't think that's a good sign for a relationship if I feel relieved. I don't even know where we are right now in a relationship. Like we're engaged in one second, like, and she wants a break, which I don't even understand what that means anymore. Do you feel like she's saying she doesn't want to be with you? Sometimes she does say that. She literally says that. I don't want to be with you. Yeah, because mm. you were hanging out with Blue Beecher. Because he said he didn't want to be with me. Literally, that why. No. Yes. I say you need time to grow. I want you to grow. That's all I said. But since like the new therapeutic, therapeutic medicine, the new therapeutic thing is to go find some Peruvian girl. I don't feel like what I did. I don't think it, it was necessarily a wrong thing because, you know, you're saying you want to go on a break. And what does that mean? We can sit there and debate it until we're blue in the face. Or we can just say, yeah, I did this thing. There was a miscommunication. And we have to take ownership of that miscommunication, period. Like, if you guys want to start from zero and you want to start rebuilding a level of trust, this is where it happens. This is ground zero.